Good morning. Welcome back to our Friday morning conversations. I'm Adam Engel, and I am joined by Pastor Philomena, our interim pastor here at Second Presbyterian Church. Today, we're here to talk a little bit about the nominating process and the nominating committee of the church. In your October newsletter, you will find information regarding the nominating committee. The nominating committee is a committee of the congregation which nominates individuals to serve on the session of the church. Right. They come in with all the talents and the God-given gifts and show their interest. Or someone may know that they have those skills and interests to serve the congregation and may nominate them to come to session. The church session is the governing body of the church, and it is made up of five committees, the Finance Committee, Stewardship and Mission, Worship and Music Committee, the Christian Education Committee, and the Administration Committee. When you are nominated for a committee, when you're nominated for the session and elected to serve on the session, a person serves a three-year term on a specific committee. You will be trained if you haven't done it before, so come and be willing to serve and be willing to learn. The session is the spokesman of the congregation. They make all the decisions and then they vote on what needs to be voted and then they bring the rest of the information to the congregation. And so when you come in, you come to work as a team. You don't work alone because there are people who are experienced or may have been on session for a long time, some of them may be sec serving their second term. And so you are welcome to come and tag along and share God's message through sharing of your gift and serving the congregation. Once you're done serving as an elder, you go back into the congregation and you tell them by serving them, sharing your experience. And so we look forward to hearing for all those who are interested in serving the church on this session. In your October newsletter, there, there is a form that you can complete if you know someone that may be interested in being an elder or someone whose qualifications you feel would be good on the session. You can complete that form and mail it to the church to the attention of the nominating committee, or you can go to our website, spcsaginaw.org, and look for a nominating form there, and you can submit your nominations electronically. You also have to remember that you not only serve in the congregation, you also may be called to serve on the presbytery level as an elder. You will be commissioned to be part of the, the presbytery needs and serving the bigger church. And so don't think that when you come, you're only serving your local church. No, your gift extends beyond the congregational lines. It goes all the way up to the presbytery level. And then we will go from there. Once you are nominated and voted on and you are part of session, we'll, we'll give you the rest of the scoop. Serving on the session is a great way to learn how the church, church works, the interworkings of the church that you might not know happen. So we hope that you will join us and prayerfully consider those people who you think would be good to serve on the session. And if you have any questions before you say yes, please don't hesitate to find Pastor Philomena and she will try to give you the answers to it. Or an elder who is already serving will also give you details of what is it that we do. And they work so hard behind the scene that many people do not or may not know what the session does. But together, they make a team and the body of the church and the spokesman for the church. Thank you. We hope you'll join us next, next Friday for another edition of our Friday Conversation. Take care. Don't forget that if you have questions, email us at our email, Second Press. Second Press at sbcglobal.net. If you have questions for the pastor, questions for the session, that you would like us to answer. We're happy to look at those questions and get the answers. Thank you. And together we can save God. Have a blessed day.